Craig's stuff. Craig's stuff. Craig's got a lot of stuff. Yeah. Craig's stuff. Craig's stuff. Craig's got a lot of stuff. Hey, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Craig's Stuff. My name's Craig, and this is some of my stuff. <laughs> I hope you guys like my new background. It's pretty cool. It's done by my good friend Jeff. He uh, put some posters up on the wall for me. Shout out to Jeff. Shout out to Jeff! Monster Hunter. If you don't have that game, get it. It's pretty awesome. You slay monsters. Alright. Back to the toy! Alright. We got here the final figure in the Batman Arkham Origins Series 2 set. We have Anarchy. Background of the character? I know nothing. He was in, like, one issue of Batman fairly recently, right? Wasn't he in an issue of Batman or something? Yeah, yeah. I read something with him in it. It was in a remember. Superdome, and then all the refugees were there. No, it was a, it was a Pontiac Silverdome. It yeah. might have been Batman and Robin. I don't I, know. I didn't read it, so it must have been something that you read that I don't. It was, I, well, the Probably other, Batman and Robin. Then. I, it might have been. I don't know. He was in something fairly recently. Whatever. Don't care. I think I came across him in the game once. But he was the last figure in the set, so I figured I gotta get it. Uh, also, he looks pretty cool. So, uh, as usual, you got your box, your Batman shaped box with the Bat logo and the name and the figure in the middle. And then on the back, we have same thing. The, the same thing as the other ones the figures in the set and some information. Now, let me pop them open. So we also have, as, as always, in the inside, there's the Series 1 figures. Some statues. <laughs> ah, the new toy smell. Okay. Alright, so here he is, Anarchy. Uh, looking pretty cool. He stands nice. I like that. Oh, one thing I noticed about him is uh, his sleeves on his jacket are actually, uh, they're not only a different material, it actually feels like he actually has a jacket on over the sleeve. Like it is. Kind of feels like a elbow Like pad. it's pushing. You, you can actually press in and there's like a, it's like a jacket, you know? Which is nice. Um, same with his hood; it is separate, so you can kind of you can kind of move move his hood around. Take it off. You can even take it off. Which is cool. And then it doesn't look like his mask is removable, um, but that way you can kind of rearrange the hood on him, make it look good. Uh, so that's pretty cool. That I like about him a lot. Uh, the paintwork is awesome. You got all this red detail, um, tons of detail in his belt, um, buttons and shit all over there. He's got uh, his scarf on his neck. We'll turn him around on his backpack. Tons of detail. He's got this uh, skull face decal there. All the look, all the sculpt and paint application on there is real nice. Um, he's got this little uh, pouch on the side again, different material, so it actually moves around, which is nice. Um, but overall, love absolutely love the sculpt, love the paint. They really did a great job on these figures in the set, minus Killer Croc. Killer Croc was, eh, but. But he was big, so what are you going to do? Um, and then he comes with this little accessory, which is like a bottle that I guess he lit, uh, lit on fire to use as a grenade. Um, 
the fire feels very top heavy and it feels like it's going to break kind of out of the bottle. I'm a little worried about that, but hopefully nothing happens. Um, and that fits right into his hand. So that's awesome. So it's like he's about to throw this thing and light a building on fire or something. Throw it at a car. Or throw it at a car and light something on fire. Um, so. Whatever. So it I mean, it doesn't say that great in his hand. I mean, if I probably work at it, I'll be able to get, keep it in, because it's just this. The fire is so heavy. I don't know. So that's one of my first complaints. Let's talk about joints. You have your, you got of course your head motion. You got your arms move up, down. You got your elbow joint. What you can't. What's awesome is you can't see any of the elbow joints because of the uh, jacket. the jacket. Uh, your his hands move all the way around. Both hands, but they don't open or close. Uh, no, no chest movement, but his hips go around. Uh, hips don't lock. No, his hips. Don't lock. <laughs> I think we've made this joke before. The uh, both his le his legs move up and down. About, that's about as much as I'd want to go just because he has this uh, some sort of belt loop thingy attached to his pants. Don't really want that to break. Uh, he's got double jointed knees. So those are nice. His, uh, his ankle, I, don't know, I guess this is not like a shin. I'd say that's more of a shin, lower leg spins. No ankle pivot at all. That's not... It's always nice to have the ankle moving that way. It makes it a little bit easier for them to stand. Um, but that's it. That's all. That's all the movement he's got. Um, so overall, really nice figure. Very happy with it. Definitely recommend to anyone who's part of the fan of the series. Um, if you really don't know the character, he's kind of uh, to me. He's pretty much an unknown. Uh, so, but overall, it's a very very cool looking figure uh and you and they only go for like the rest of them 20, 25 dollars depending where you get this is probably one that may drop in price because he's not as popular uh but you know but yeah so i definitely if you're into the into it definitely recommend this one a definite buy uh if you like the character. Other than that, stay away from it. But if you like the character, if you like the game, bye. Um, well, I guess that's it, guys. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. Like me on Facebook. Subscribe to me on YouTube. Leave a fucking comment, for goodness sake. Just leave a damn comment. Leave a freaking comment. Um, and you can also like, like my videos on YouTube. Because uh, that would be nice. <laughs> I think you just went PG-13. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you next time! <laughs>